it is time for the week 13 review. Week 13, yes. Starting with the Thursday game. This one was actually good. It was finally a good Thursday game uh, was given to us after a lot of bad ones. And probably another bad one coming up, uh, if you know what I mean. Um, but Cowboys Seahawks. Cowboys Seahawks picked the Cowboys in this one. The line was actually minus 9. So the Seahawks did cover. Um, 41-35. Just straight up shootout. Um, what's crazy is... Uh, I mean, you got Geno Smith. He's been struggling a little bit lately. He did throw a pick, which I knew was coming. <laughs> but he just he had a monster game. He really did. Um, 334. Three touchdowns. Monster game. Even ran one and even ran in a touchdown. Yeah. Or I forget if it was a sneak or what, but... um, Or no, it wasn't. But uh, Actually, no, it was. I don't remember. Either way, Geno Smith, big game. He had a monster game. Um, Dak also had a monster game. 299, three touchdowns. And that's it. <laughs> um, Pollard got in the end zone. Charbonnet got in the end zone. DK Metcalf had a... Speaking of monster games, DK. DK Metcalf. Oh my God, this guy. See, he just, he just goes off sometimes. He is a freak. He's hard to cover. He's hard to cover. Cowboys... Oh, Cowboys secondary, they got exposed in this one. They got exposed in this one. That's for sure, but another big game from C.D. Lamb. Um, we'll, well, back to D.K., sorry. Six catches, 134, three touchdowns. C.D. Lamb, 12 catches, 116, touchdown. Jake Ferguson got in. He's had a pretty good year. Brandon Cooks got in again. He's been good for them. He's been a solid number two um, lately, lately, only lately. <laughs> But yeah, just a uh, wild game, wild game. Um, looking towards the ending. Yeah, the Cowboys. Hey, Cowboys were down. Cowboys were down 35-27 in the fourth. They get the field goal. They get the touchdown. And then they added on another field goal. And Seahawks just couldn't get one more going. And... Um, yeah, a couple, uh, a couple of turnovers on downs. Literally three possessions in the row. They ended up turning it over. Um, that's tough stuff. But solid play. This is how the Seahawks need to play every week. They, they've had a rough go. I mean, Gino. Gino's been a little bit rough. But in this one, he looked good. He looked great. <laughs> he looked he looked worth that contract for sure. But a uh, solid win for the Cowboys. They're 9-3. and three. Seahawks six and six. We head into Sunday. Nice divisional matchup. I thought this one would be pretty good. Uh, figured the Colts would win. I mean, OT game didn't didn't predict the OT game, but figured the Colts would win. Um, yeah, Derrick Henry, Derrick Henry monster game. Pittman had a great game. Minshew, Minshew was solid. Will Levis was okay. <laughs> But, um, yeah, it's uh, Derrick Henry, 21 carries, 102 yards, two touchdowns. Even uh, Tajay Spears, even he had a pretty solid day, 16 for 75, 4.7 a carry. That's pretty good. Pittman, 11 for 105 and a touchdown. Alec Pierce, three catches, 100 yards, touchdown. DeAndre Hopkins, 5 for 75, touchdown. So, pretty good for him, but, yeah, it's... Uh, what a what a crazy one. Um, Will Levis, he did have a fumble. Minshew had a fumble. A couple of fumbles. A couple of fumbles. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, wild stuff. And then the Colts. Colts had the, uh, what was it, the pick six? Or no, the, uh, oh, they had the block punt, right? Yeah, hey, yeah, let's check it out. Let's check it out. Double block punts. Yeah, yeah, they had the block punt, and then they blocked the next punt, but didn't return that one for a touchdown. Just only took one of them. And then... <laughs> the what was it they they went for two they had 22 trying to get to 24 make it seven point game <laughs> i forget Minchu threw like a pick or what but then that got returned for two points so 22 19 but uh, hey luckily the Colts held on they they held on um they were down but they were able to uh or no sorry the uh the titans were down 
and then they missed they missed the extra point Nick Folk man that's brutal and then that that pretty much led to the overtime <laughs> but yeah that's a tough tough loss for the Titans but four and eight start looking at draft picks <laughs> Colts seven and five man Minshew's the guy I don't know I'm just curious uh, I wonder wonder what would happen with him this year if if uh, Richardson stays healthy I mean would they have the same record would they be better interesting speaking of oh god oh god this this is next sorry I have to do it I do every game all right I have to do it Chargers bats <laughs> six zero let's look at these let's look at these stats Bailey Zappi not better than Mac. Not. Might be the same. <laughs> this is awful. Ezekiel Elliott. Seven carries. 52 yards. <laughs> Herbert. 22 for 37. 212. <laughs> no touchdowns. No picks. Pretty good. <laughs> no, no touchdowns in this one. Zero. There is zero. Two field goals. Two field goals was all it took. Cameron Dicker, player of the game. <laughs> Anybody who bet on the Pats in this one, oh man, you need help. You need help. This was... The Pats are bad. They're very bad. Two and ten. They're going for draft picks now. I mean, the defense is good. The defense is good. It's crazy. The offense is just that bad. So, Belichick. Belichick's going to get the number two pick. And he's going to trade down and then trade down and just rack up picks and then draft a bunch of guys. Some of them will be okay and then some of them will be dog shit and then they'll be stuck in the same spot that they are right now. The Chargers... Chargers need help. Chargers need massive help uh, in the coaching department. 6-0. I mean, look, look at it. Just talking about it makes me sleepy. 6-0 in the modern NFL. That's awful. All right, we're moving on. We're moving on. Right here, here we go. Lions Saints. This one was a good one. Uh, great game. Great game from the Lions. Just early lead. Maybe they coasted a little bit, but uh, the Derek Carr experiment is just, it's not been good. It hasn't been good. Um... It's what we call bad. It's been very bad. Um, but Taysom Hill is still a baller. He had a touchdown. Jimmy Graham, still a baller. <laughs> he had a touchdown. Uh, yeah. Alvin Kamara, yeah, great game from him. Great game. Well, in terms of touchdowns, but maybe not yards. But, uh, yeah, Carr got injured in this one. He got injured. Winston had to play a little bit. But, um, yeah, Montgomery scored. Jameson Williams scored off of a round two. Laporta, monster game. St. Brown, touchdown. Pretty good game from him. Goff, Goff was solid. Solid game from him. Good bounce back game from uh, from the week before. Where a lot of turnovers. How many fumbles this week? No fumbles for Goff. Good for him. But, yeah, 33-28. Lions got the dub. Um, 21 points in the first quarter. That'll that'll help. That'll help for sure. But they're nine and three. Nine and three, looking good. Saints. Saints are five and seven. Um, Derek Carr, the Derek Carr experiment has failed. Just give it up. Just give it up. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> Some brutal games this week. Really. Falcons. Jets. Thirteen to eight. Jets defense still pretty good. Still very, very good. The offense, no. So they went with Tim Boyle and Trevor Simeon this week. It was bad. It was really bad. Boyle threw a pick. Okay, I'm just, just talking about it. Sleepy. 
I mean, that's, I mean, the Falcons, what's crazy is they're going to make the playoffs. They're six and six. Their division is garbage. They're going to get in. Thought it was going to be the Buccaneers or the Saints, but wow, it's the Falcons. And the Falcons have Desmond Ritter as their quarterback. That's pretty bad. That's pretty bad. They do have Bijan Robinson. That helps. Um, but Michael Pruitt, that's who's scoring TDs in this one. <laughs> it was the only TD. And then, well, two field goals. Had to be. Yeah. Yeah, this is, this is a roster with Bijan Robinson, Drake London, Kyle Pitts, John U. Smith. <laughs> but no. Michael Pruitt. That's who scores. That, that's who scores. That's great. 13-8. Falcons 6-6. Six and six, Jets 4-8. and eight. They just, they need to punt on this year, apparently. They're trying to get Zach Wilson to back out there. Because um, what's crazy is he is way better than the guys they've been trying. <laughs> he's not that much better, but he's a little bit better. <laughs> but yeah, Jets. Jets are in trouble. Cardinals. Steelers. Tough one here. Um, another loss. I picked the Jets in the last one. That was a mistake. Picked the Steelers here. Another mistake. Hey, I mean, I said it. It's like, hey, Kyler Murray, James Conner. These guys, these guys are good. It's going to be up to them if they, uh, if they get the dub. And they played well. They played well. James Conner, vintage James Conner game, 25 for 105 yards, 4.2 a carry, two TDs. Kyler Murray, 145 yards and a touchdown. Good enough. But Trey McBride, he's been great. He has been such a consistent tight end for them. Really, really underrated. Um. Steelers, Deontay Johnson, he got in the end zone, and that was it. <laughs> Nobody else. Mitch Trubisky, Pickett got hurt. Again. He's always hurt. Trubisky time. He actually threw a touchdown, no picks, no sacks. But, you know, 117, a touchdown. So That's not enough. That's not. It was in garbage time. It was at the end of the game. They were getting destroyed. They were getting blown out. So, I can't even count it. But, hey, Cardinals, thank you. The Patriots, thank you for your contribution to our draft pick. <laughs> yeah, it's huge. Um, they're 3-10. and ten. Pats are 2-10. So, it really is a, a big help <laughs> for New England. But, oh boy, this one. I called this one. I was like, if Baby Breeze doesn't go off, it's over. It's just going to be a blowout. And it was 45 15 Dolphins, nine and three. Commanders are four and nine now. That's tough. They're pretty. Their year's done. They're they're looking at draft picks too. But to a solid game. That's because he has Tyreek Hill to chuck the ball to. Um, a chain, two TDs. Good for him. Mostert had a TD. Just pure domination. 45 15. Everybody got everyone scored in this one. <laughs> I forget, did they have, they even had, yeah, defensive touchdown. I forget what it was. Oh, was it a pick? Yeah, there it is. There it is. It was a pick. Yep, Van Ginkle. Oh, I forget what happened on the play. I remember it. Oh, clear, clearly I don't, actually, but, um, oh, what happened? I don't know. Van Ginkle made it. I don't know what happened, but, yeah, Dolphins. Dolphins blew him out. Wasn't even close. Baby Breeze. 127 and a touchdown. I think Brian Robinson Jr. got hurt. Rough day for them. Rough day. It was just... Uh, they had no shot. You got no shot drama. You got no shot. But is what it is. They're fine. They need draft picks. Dolphins, 9-3. and three. Looking pretty good this year. That's for sure. Tyreek, fuck it. Tyreek's down there somewhere. Just chuck it. Chuck it long. Feed that guy. Texans, Broncos. I'm sorry, Broncos fans. I want to apologize. I uh, I did this. This was my fault. Um, actually, somebody somebody left a comment on the preview video, and they're like, uh-oh, terrible. He picked the Broncos. <laughs> they're going to lose now. <laughs> they were right. I'm sorry, Broncos fans. I, I shouldn't have picked you. I shouldn't have done that because it was automatic loss automatic loss the moment I picked you but solid game from Stroud kinda he did enough but 
I mean, Nico Collins. I mean, Tank Dale out for the year. That's tough, but... Nico Collins, monster game. Nine catches, 191, and a touchdown. Just monster effort. Cortland Sutton, he had a nice touchdown as well. Russ ran one in. Three picks, though. Three picks from Russ. He also threw a touchdown, too, but three picks. That's that's brutal. That'll kill you. That's, that's tough. That's tough. But, hey, no defensive touchdowns. But, yeah, Derek Stingley... <laughs> Derek Stingley had two of them. He's looking good. That Texas D, they got some young studs. Stingley, Will Anderson. I feel like they got one other guy I can't think of, but yeah, they got some studs. They got studs out there. Uh, for sure. But yeah, 22-17. Texans 7-5. Broncos 6-6. Six six. The win streak has been broken. Unfortunately. But I'll take the blame. It's cool. I'll take the blame, you know. I hadn't picked them their entire win streak. And then I finally picked them and they lose. I'll take the blame. I can I, I can handle it. This one, I don't, nobody cares about this one. The Buccaneers, they're not that great. Um, they're okay. They're mid. They beat up on the teams like the Panthers. And they beat them by three. That's all. But Mayfield, one touchdown, one pick. Rashad White. Got in the end zone. Godwin ran one in. <laughs> um, Mike Evans had a big touchdown. Um, Chuba Hubbard. 104 and a touchdown. Good for him. Not much passing, though. Not much passing. 178 and a pick for Bryce Young. They were in it. They were in the game. But they lost. They had a chance. But, yeah, Mike Evans. Mike Evans is a beast. Over 1,000 yards for, what is it, 10 seasons? I mean, that's just... That guy is just... doesn't even matter who's thrown to him. It doesn't matter. He gets the job done. That's just a baller. He's just a baller. He's just a football player. He's... He can play. <laughs> you don't need me to convince you of that. He's just good. Mike Evans is just... He's a freak. But... Next one. Browns. Rams. This one... I don't want to say it was... I, I would pick the Rams. I don't want to say it was easy, but... I mean, you could see this coming. Um, Browns D off. Obviously, they're very good this year. Um, but they uh, they struggle stopping the run, depending uh, sometimes. Um, Kyron Williams, 88 yards and a touchdown. But, um, I mean, the big thing was just Stafford cooking. I mean, he had Puka Nakua on that big touchdown. Demarcus Robinson had one. Cooper Cup had a touchdown. Just a dominant effort from the Rams, who are now 6-6, six and six, and they're looking at the playoffs, and they're saying, we're here. We're here. I mean, they had slow start, played some tough teams early on, but I, I've been saying it all year. Like, the Rams are pretty tough. The Rams are a tough team. Um, wouldn't call them contenders, but they are. They're tough. They are very tough. And they just, they just flat out beat them. I mean, what are the Browns going to do? They got Joe Flacco out there. I mean, Joe Flacco, he actually had a decent game. I mean, 254, well, 23 for 44, that's not ideal, but 254, two touchdowns, one pick. I mean, what, what more do you ask from the guy he hasn't played in a couple of years? So, I mean, they just got nothing on offense. It's It's got to be tough. It's got to be tough for the Browns, but 36-19, 6 and 6 Rams, 7-5 Browns. Browns are still fine. They can get themselves into the playoffs, but... Uh, We'll see. We'll see. <laughs> what a game this was. For the Niners, Eagles just got absolutely blown out in this one. I actually, I picked the Eagles in this one. I thought they would, thought they would quiet the noise. But hey, Eagles, they, uh, they've been good all year. But they don't always look as deadly as the Niners. I mean, the Niners had that three-game losing streak. Other than that, they just destroy everybody. 3-14, four TDs for Brock Purdy. McCaffrey, 93 yards, touchdown. Debo Samuel, rushing touchdown. Debo Samuel, two catching touchdowns. Four for 116, two touchdowns. Ayuk, touchdown. Juwan Jack, I mean, they, <laughs> you can tell that the 49ers had been thinking about this one for the whole last year because they always thought they were better. They just lost their QB. So, um, but we don't have to talk about teams losing their QB right now, all right? There's some Florida State fans out there that they're not doing so well, all right? <laughs> it 
it's okay. <laughs> but yeah, 42-19. I mean, they they throttled them. They throttled them. Nine and three, ten and two. Eagles are still in first place, but uh, Niners they really they they punched first and they punched hard. And uh, we'll see. I really hope these two match up again. This is you know Niners. Niners are good. Niners are good. That's there's a reason I picked them to to meet the Ravens in the Super Bowl in the the previous video, not the beginning of the season uh, one. But yeah, Niners. Niners look, they look tough. They look tough. Hurts, not Hurts his best game. He actually he got a little banged up at the end, but I think he's he should be fine. Um, nothing, uh, nothing going on there. I don't think. Um, but yeah, we had that game, and then get to Sunday night. Chiefs Packers. Shout out the Packers, man. Shout out the Packers. Wonderful game. Jordan Love. <laughs> Jordan Love. Two sixty-seven, three touchdowns. You know, I'll give him credit. I mean, he really, the season is long. Obviously, these these guys weren't going to give up uh, four weeks in when they weren't doing as well. Even then, I think they were 2-2. Two and two, But, I mean, Jordan Love, he had some bad games where he just, he looked like a rookie. And he's like in year four, you know. Um, so I was like that. But uh, Jordan Love, great effort. 267, three touchdowns. I mean, that's just, he shed a fire game for sure. Mahomes, one TD, one pick. Pacheco, Pacheco had a really good game. Uh, 110, six yards of carry, 110 and a touchdown. So good stuff from him. But, yeah, shout out the Packers, man. Christian Watson, good game from him. Ben Sims <laughs> caught the other touchdown. What is happening? <laughs> but, um, yeah, shout out the Packers, man. I shit on the Packers. I've been doing it all year, but 6-6, six and six, they're in the hunt. So, I gotta do this more. I gotta give props when props is due. And Packers, I gotta say, they're looking good. And the Chiefs continue to look a little disappointing, unfortunately. But they should be fine by the playoffs. They got Mahomes, Kelsey, and a solid defense. Honestly, that's that's enough to be contenders, um, which is crazy. But it takes us to Monday. Bengals, Jaguars, OT game. The Bengals, man, they should have... Or, uh, sorry, the Jaguars. They should have had this one. I, I don't know why they let this one get away from them. I will say, I you know, I missed I missed some parts of it. Um, what was happening? Oh, yeah, it was the Celtic, Celtics Pacers I was watching. Oh, oh yeah, I have this one. <laughs> they lost. They're out of the in-season tournament. Not that the tournament means anything, but um, just fun to watch. But, yeah, I, I did miss a bunch of this game because of that. And then kind of barely watched it at the end. But it is what it is. But ETN, he got in the end zone. Good for him. Trevor Lawrence ran one in. Pass for two. Tyler Boyd threw the pick. <laughs> Jamar Chase threw a pass for minus seven yards. Jake Browning, solid day. 32 for 37. That's pretty good. 354, one touchdown. That is solid for sure. Mixon ran two in, and then Browning ran one in. Jamar Chase caught a big one. So, I mean, great game from the Bengals. They're showing, like, hey, we're here. We're still here. We're still here. We're looking. We're looking at the playoffs. We want to get there. You know, we don't have Burrow. But, yeah, it is what it is. So, tough one for the Jets, but they're 8-4. and four. Uh, They should be able to bounce back. Tough to, to lose one like that in overtime. But that's going to be it for this video.